the difference between a good, modern-day sport bike and the bike people are most likely to go out and buy is millimeters. It's one extra line of code, a few horsepower, or a bit less weight. Suzuki's GSX-R1000 has lacked a little bit of everything these past couple of years, but for 2017, that all changes with a new chassis, engine, and electronics package. Suzuki wants its king of the superbike crown back, and this is the bike it plans to earn it with. I should back up and ride bikes, seeing as how the platform includes a base GSX-R1000 and higher spec GSX-R1000R, the latter of which I had the chance to hustle around the Phillip Island circuit in Melbourne, Australia, earlier this week. The bikes share an engine, frame, and bodywork. But on the R you get upgraded show a suspension, more advanced electronics, and a long list of smaller details, including, for example, a lighter weight battery. These are exciting things if you're a GSXR fan or happen to be in the market for a new litter bike. The last time Suzuki paid any attention to its GSXR 1000 was in 2012, updated exhaust, suspension, and brakes, and the last major update was in 2009. You could have bought $5 worth of newly invented bitcoins that same year and since made enough money off them to buy something like one GSXR 1000 r for every track day you plan to do in 2017. Things happen in 8 years.